the pilot light is blowing out, what you need to do is turn it nice and slowly. There's actually a layer of air between the gas and the pilot light, and if you turn it on too fast, that air will blow the pilot light right out. Oh, see that? The pilot light just went out. Now relight the pilot light and turn on the gas nice and slowly. There you go. The pilot light stays lit. Now your pilot light comes with a standard default setting that should work just fine. However, if you find that your pilot light flame is too big or too small, you can always adjust it manually right here on your valve using a regular screwdriver. Now one common problem is that you may have everything going and you may have your fireplace running, but after 5, 10, or even an hour of time, it might just shut down. And that's caused by this thermocouple overheating. So this thermocouple would need to be placed in such a way that it would not be getting such direct flame that would cause it to overheat. So you want your pilot light to be able to light the fire, but you also want your thermocouple to be able to be a safe distance out of the burner fire once your fire is going. You can make some minor adjust adjustments by sliding this along the back of the pan, and you can also tweak and turn this based on flame location. So if, it's, if you're having problems overheating, you may want to turn the thermocouple so that it's further away from the back of the pan. If you're having problems lighting the fire, you may want to move it a little bit closer. On very rare occasions, when you're having a hard time of keeping your thermocouple from overheating, you may want to limit the flame coming from the burner by putting a button screw in the first port of your burner.